Hello, it's me, Yvonne, your local non-binary Wiccan, and I'd like to talk about the definition of what inclusiveness is. So, first of all, a word about what inclusiveness is not. It doesn't mean that we have to include people with obnoxious views, like right-wingers or people that we don't share values with, because, as Karl Popper explained, the paradox of tolerance is that we cannot tolerate the intolerant. So no, we're not going to include people with homophobic views or transphobic views or racist views or ableist views or any of those things. Now, it also means that we, you know, we don't need to include people who don't play well with others. So if somebody just for whatever reason doesn't work very well in a group um, then you know they're not that's a bit of a non-starter for being in a coven and if they aren't actually witch material for every other reason then Wicca is not going to be a good fit for them so the point there is that we're not excluding them as a group as a class of or a category we're just going, sorry, but it looks like Wicca is not really your path. Um, and that's okay. So what inclusiveness is, is it's um, making sure that our rituals don't structurally exclude any particular group. So, for example, some covens make people copy the Book of Shadows out by hand. That's inaccessible to people with dyslexia. Um... If you make everybody stand boy, girl, boy, girl in the circle, that is very inaccessible to non-binary people because we're going, well, where do you want me to stand then? Um, and also doing invocations where you can inv any person of any gender can invoke a deity of any gender onto another person of any gender. <laughs> Sorry, it's a bit long-winded, but you get the idea. Um, and all the things that are often ascribed to one or other of the gender binary in circle uh, can be done by a person of any gender in inclusive wicker. So for example, consecrations, those are not gendered. Um, cakes and wine, not gendered. Um, and so on. You get the idea. Uh, there are lots of people who make accommodations for older people and for people with disabilities and um, you know that's not controversial so why is it controversial to in to make changes to include LGBT people I don't get it um, so that's really it in a nutshell if you want to find out more about inclusive Wicca uh, I have other videos on inclusive Wicca on my channel and you can find out more by reading my books and my blog and, um, you know, examining your own conscience to find out what you think inclusive means. So, hope you're all well. Blessed be. Take care.